very infamous spot here in the OKC Urbex lore. There's been like murders here, so plenty of people have died here. Prosecuted two of the maximum. Yeah, right. There's a slim chance we come crashing through this. This place has been uh, burnt down one too many times. What's up guys? We're right here in front of an old abandoned like asylum. It once served as like a mental care facility. It's also been like a rehab center and a nursing home. And uh, the thing is, uh, it's notorious for being like haunted. And there's been like several murders there, even while it was still active. It's the St. Vincent's Asylum. Very, uh, very infamous spot here in the OKC Urbex lore. And we are now gonna go try and sneak in there. Now, now to just find a gap in traffic. We should try to go down that road right there, the dirt road, and then go around back. I thought we were done with running. <laughs> okay, now, now we're done with running. Oh man. Are we gonna get haunted? Well, probably. If I get haunted, I wanna be haunted by a ghost named Jeff. A ghost named what? Jeff. Jeff? There's John. I actually go around to the full back. I mean, there's plenty of openings back here. I mean, we could just jump in right there. Yeah. There's a lot of tires. That thing's sticking way out of here. That's dangerous. Stop here, there's nothing. I know. He, we were trying some other place that didn't work out, and he just found the tiny flashlight on the ground. So the whole story is like, there's been like murders here, so plenty of people have died here, and I think supposedly some paranormal teams have been here in the past and like captured stuff. I'm not sure, but those are the legends. Plastic. <laughs> it almost looked like one of those old school like crank things. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's more stairs. Those are some janky stairs. It's a ramp. A ramp. I guess you could say this uh, exploration is ramping up. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye, that spray painted person actually kind of looked like someone standing there for a second. <laughs> that was not pleasant. Hey, where'd you go? Where did Cole go? Are you upstairs? Well, oh, there you are. There's a whole lot more upstairs. There's more upstairs? Oh, yeah. Alright, yeah, this just seems like a creepy basement. I kind of like this area. It almost reminds me of my uh, my college dorms. Like you got a hallway. There's a room that kind of leads to a smaller pod, and then there's like two other rooms where people would stay. Whoa! I was kind of hoping that'd be metal, but. <laughs> I fix my eyes. Like I went through the hallway while I'm walking down, it gets longer and longer. That's such a weird-looking hallway. It's like a combination of like destruction, spray paint, and fire damage. Oh, no. That's like kind of cool. I know. I like it. Don't we just love fire damage? It's like half the places we go have been lit up in flames at some point. That's a lot of clothes. Oh, mattresses. You know, those could have actually been in there from its days of operation, but at the same time, it. Uh, could have just been shucked in here by people dumping, but uh, that'd take a lot of work hauling that upstairs, so. Then here's another one. That thing looks horrible. It's kind of a weird uh, combo here of the paint peeling, as you often see in abandoned buildings, and the wall itself peeling off. What? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Place, uh, you know, it, up a lot it does? Well, I gotta see that then. 
That's so weird. Look at the ground. Like, even though we're on the second floor, it looks like we're on a dirt floor. Is there a way we can get on the, like, the roof? Maybe. Actually, if we could, we'd probably just come crashing through. Yeah, you're cutting. This place has been uh, burnt down one too many times. Very possible, but... Yeah. If I fell, at least I fall in. This is someone's favorite tire, tire dumping spot. Look at all that. Oh, we're dumping on the tires. <laughs> I think that would still hurt. It was actually open. Yeah. <sighs> they barely move. Yeah. What do you think? Is this better or worse than the bowling alley? Mm, I, I like the bowling alley just a bit better just because of the aesthetic of it. Yeah. This, I mean, it has a good aesthetic, but this... Yeah, the colors in here are pretty cool, but like, it's pretty empty. Yeah. And we haven't seen any ghosts. No, no ghosts. <laughs> Sam the ghost didn't come say hi to me. That's why I almost wanted to do this one at night, yeah. just to give it an even more freaky vibe. But uh, we, we'd we been so uh, active yesterday, just going from place to place, that uh, once we finally got into OKC, we just kind of wanted to rest. I've seen a lot of like beds, so I'm pretty sure coming here at night probably would be the best. Yeah, that's true. There's probably homeless people who stay here. Yeah, that's probably be disturbing one. Ooh, that one. Oh, that's not that's not right. I know. I, I kind of wish it extended all the way across. Ooh. No change. Well, I don't. But I wonder if I walk across. There's a chance you might fall all the way through. Yeah. Well, it's up to you. Well, I value life. <laughs> you value life. I feel like it's also worth mentioning that uh, off over to the side of the building, there actually used to be like a whole another building. It was like, it kind of looked like a house, but it was part of this place. But uh, that's been gone for like 10 years. So now this is all that's left. Just uh, a lot of destruction. The staircase that goes right down outside. The staircase right here. Oh yeah. This place is just wide open. Taking the hard way down. I'll walk the ramp. I think I, I feel like there was once a time where people like actually cared about people sneaking into here, but clearly, like, no one does anymore. It's like yeah. they don't even try. Parkour. There's a slim chance we come crashing through this. What was that? Is that an animal or a person? I don't know, something. I don't know. Chicken. Something. <laughs> Chicken. Here. We gained access again. We did it. Gonna give it a rating? I'm gonna do a 5.5. 5.5 out of 10? Yeah, just not as bad. It's not that, it's just not that it's like. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. empty and trash. Yeah. And for that reason, I'll give it like a 4 or 3. When I think of asylum, I think of like a big grand hospital. Exactly. This is a not exactly too big or grand, but we got to do it for the lore. All right, I guess that's about it. Just relaxing. Good. We went all day yesterday through various places and into Tulsa, and it was just freezing cold and cloudy all day. Yeah, it was a nasty day yesterday. So it's nice to finally get some sun on us. It's actually going to be warm later. It's going to get almost up to 60. What is all this? Like? I don't know. Like dirt mounds and rocks. They don't really care about this place, so it's like a dumping ground. You already saw all the tires back there. There used to be a sign over there that said something like, all people caught in this building will be arrested or whatever. Oh yeah, look. There it is. It still says it. Prosecuted to the maximum. Yeah, right. Oh, that's a good thumbnail right there. I know. Perfect thumbnail right here. 
Actually, look, you can still see the name up there. The St. Vincent's home. Well, we've wrapped up our time at the St. Vincent's home. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we just hit one of the most well-known spots in OKC, but we're going to try to go to a school next. So that's spoilers for next week. We're finally going to get a school on the Oklahoma trip. So join us next week, and I'll see you next time.